Hey everybody, this is uh, Pastor Mark and this is our weekly communique. Uh, not a lot going on today and I thought maybe it would be a good time just to give you a quick tour of my office. I know that you're not able to get to church much uh, during this COVID-19 thing. Uh, many of you have not even seen the inside of my office. So I thought I'd just go ahead and give you a tour of that today. Uh, I'm hoping that the day will come soon where we'll be able to, to meet and have a cup of coffee uh, and, and pray together. And that, that day will come when you'll just be able to come by and see me. And we'll be able to do that. Anyway, here's my office. Got a great name tag there. Uh, Randy Comstock made that for me, Pastor Mark. And uh, come on in. And I'll kind of tell you, show you what, what I got in here. Um, let's start over here with this wall. This is my missionary wall. Um, that, that, that clock there is a special clock. Uh, that is a clock that my wife gave to me when I turned 50, which, by the way, is the year that we went overseas, moved our family into Cameroon, Africa, to begin working with an unreached Muslim people group called the Fulani people. They were the original uh, Muslim jihadists back in the 13th century that came into Africa and conquered most of northern Africa and then got stopped right there in the middle of Cameroon. So we went to the northern part of Cameroon and we lived among Muslim people, the Fulani people, and were involved in evangelism, in discipleship, uh, planting churches, and then training pastors to then lead those churches. After that, we had to leave and began traveling throughout the world, uh, pretty much training pastors who had never received Bible training. And that's what that I've done uh, up until coming here. Um, but I still hope to make a couple trips later on in the year if God opens up the door into some of these countries. Right now, everything is closed. Now, this is the wall that most of you see in the background of the communiques, this is my wall of tools, my wall of books. They're not just decorations. As I said, these are my tools. You know, just as a carpenter has the tools to ply his trade, I have these tools that I've accumulated over 30 some years that I use to ply my trade of, of studying the Word of God, putting together sermons and Bible studies, what have you, to edify God's people and, and to glorify God doing that. That's my hope and my desire. Um, here's some of the mugs. Some folks have mentioned to me, what are those? all those coffee mugs? Well, these coffee mugs represent places where uh, God has enabled me to go, uh, pass through sometimes in, in teaching his word and in preaching his word. And so you can see there's cups from all over the world. Uh, some of these cups also rep represent where, where I have workers that I have trained that are also working uh, in gospel ministry, um, carrying out the Great Commission. You know, when we, we talk about the Great Commission, the Great Commission, and, and this is why this wall over here with the map on it is such a favorite of mine. Uh, when we think about the Great Commission, we're told that we are to go into all the world, into all the people groups of the world, and make disciples. And, and so the way we do that is we do outreach, which leads to evangelism, which then leads to making disciples. Then we gather those disciples into these outposts, gospel outposts that we call churches. And then those churches are scattered all over the world and they perpetuate the work of the gospel. And so the gospel begins to fill the earth People are brought to Christ through the gospel. And so when, when people are, are coming to Christ and the world is being filled with Christians, then God's glory is filling the earth. And so we really fulfill the creation mandate of filling the earth with God's glory by filling the earth with people dis who are becoming disciples of Jesus Christ. Well, you come on over here and... and just some more books, more tools, and, and this is where I do most of my work. This is my desk, and you can see now that I'm busy with books all over, and I'm working on 1 Peter, trying to get that study out uh, later today or tomorrow, and uh, I'm enjoying that. You know, I, I don't study just to put a study together or just to put a sermon together. I study so I can know what God says in His Word, and then that just excites me to share it with other people. So this is a very special place for me. This is where I come 
and I pray and I look into the Word and study so that I can uh, share what God's teaching me with, with you guys. Um, and so this all takes place here. Well, that's that's kind of it for, for my office. I, I, I just wanted to share with you uh, some news. Mike Griggs' wife, Carolyn, uh, passed away last night a little after 2 a.m. in the morning. She went home to be with the Lord. And so I met with the family that's here this morning and prayed with them, shared some scripture with them, just rejoiced with them that, that she knows the Lord and is at home with the Lord. And they're doing well. They're planning to have a service later on in the summer, perhaps, when groups can gather of more than 10. So pray for them, um, and uh, we'll let you know if they have any needs that, that you could, could help them with. Uh, also found out today that there is no new news about uh, churches being opened up. We checked with the health department this morning, and the gal there said there's, there's nothing new to report. So we're still waiting to see uh, when we're going to be allowed to gather together. So pray about that. Um, we were thankful that the live stream went out last Sunday. We know there was some confusion as to where to find that link. So we're going to try to do a really good job this week of, of sending out that link so you know exactly where to go to find and watch the live stream. And I think it's also going to be up the website, I believe. But we'll let you know here before Saturday. Um, we believe we've taken care of the echo in the preaching mic that I was using, and, and so we're looking forward to uh, having the message sound a whole lot better. Well, um, keep praying for us here in the office. Pray for the elders. Pray for uh, ministry leaders, and, and pray for each other. Let's just ask God to do a, a great work in our church and in our lives, and may we just be his witnesses here in Canyon City. Um, why don't we pray and we'll just call it a day and uh, we'll visit again next week. Father, thank you for your kindness to us, your grace, your mercy. I thank you for this church and the people that make up this church, Father. Thank you for their lives, their love for you, their desire to know you better. And Father, I pray that you will bless them in a mighty way today, that you'll fill them with your spirit. And Father, may you be our greatest treasure and pleasure in life. And may we glorify you as we talked about Sunday by enjoying you forever. Father, just do a great work in our midst. Reveal yourself to us in greater ways that we might enjoy you in greater ways and thus glorify you as you so deserve. In Jesus' name we pray.